Hey, this is Dr. Fast here, and in this video I will be doing a mod which requires these parts that you're looking at. And on the right side, what you're looking at here is a 10 watt LED, and this 10 watt LED has a color temperature of 20,000 K, and it operates in the voltage range of 9 volt to 12 volt, and requires a forward current of 900 milliamp. And it puts out anywhere from 1,000 to 1,100 lumens. Now, right next to it, this little circuit board is a power supply, and this power supply will allow a range of different voltages to be inputted into this power supply, and it'll output the required 9 volt to 12 volt uh, DC voltage. And this power supply is rated to accept anything from 12 volt to 24 volt AC or DC. Over here on the left side, this is a heat sink. The reason I need a heat sink is because when you use this type of LED, being 10 watt, it generates a lot of heat and it gets very hot. So to prevent the LED from burning out, you need to have a decent heat sink like this one here. I want to mention that these components you're looking at were purchased on eBay. They came from China and the LED and the power supply were sold together for about $7 and the heat sink here was about $6. Now the LED being 20000 K for the color temperature, it is a little bit, it has a bit of a purplish blue hue to it, but it's not that blue. And you'll see later on when I finish a project. But if you really want just a simply a white, just a pure white color, then look up a 10 watt LED for the temperature, color temperature of around 6,000 to 6,500 K. And the mod I'll be doing is going to be for this Ryobi 18 volt flashlight. As you can see, it just has a regular light bulb in here not very bright so I'll be opening up this flashlight and customizing it so all these components you see here will fit into this flashlight So how this is going to work is this LED needs to mount onto this heat sink. You see the four screw holes and the heat sink came with uh, screws for mounting it. So we'll be installing it like this and then this is going to be the um, reflector that's going to go on top. But the biggest obstacle is going to be fitting this heat sink into this housing here. And as, you, as you can see it's the heat sink's too big, so I'm gonna have to do some cutting and grinding to get this to fit snugly right inside. So as you can see, the heat sink is a very snug fit and this is actually curving down this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bench grinder and just grind down at an angle. Uh, the screw holes are going to be top facing the uh, LED module. So I'm going to grind it down, angle it a little bit more this way. So after all the grinding, and you can see that I have this edge tapered towards the bottom, and you can see now this fits here nicely, and the other half, go on it, and it closes. Give yourself some rubbing alcohol, and what we're going to do is clean the heat sink surface. and also on the back of this make sure it's nice and clean next thing is to give yourself some thermal paste this is the same stuff you use to install processors on motherboard 
and in the middle here, just put a small dab here. Don't need a lot, like so. And we can do is get yourself a small piece of plastic and just give it a light rub, to spread it evenly. Okay, we can put this on top here. And we'll install the screws that came with the heat sink. So what I'm doing next is I put a piece of tape along the edge here. I'm going to drill holes into the side here to allow the heat sink to have ventilation so that not all the heat are building up inside the uh, flashlight casing here. So the plan right now is to put the power supply into this area here. There's empty space here. And then I'll route the wire up through here and into the flashlight housing up top here. Now the power supply came with this heat shrink. So you can protect the circuit board from shorting. So I'll go ahead and uh, put this on and shrink tube it. Next thing is I'm going to cut off the original wire off the light bulb and these two wires are going to be my source voltage from the battery to this power supply. Now you'll notice that on the power supply there are two white wires so you might ask you know which one is the positive and negative. This circuit board will actually adjust for the polarity so you just have to hook it up one to positive, one to negative, and it will convert the voltage to the right output. Go ahead and put the uh, heat shrink on this connection so it's insulated. So now I have routed the wire all the way up to the top here and I'll go ahead and tin the two conductor on this LED. On the metal heat sink here is actually stamped with a plus sign and a minus sign. So the LED of course uh, being a transistor it is uh, polarity sensitive. So. Go ahead and fold the wire into the one of the heat sink groove here. Now as you're putting this together, don't forget there's actually a rubber ring here. It gives it a little bit of friction when you turn the uh, swivel head. Just keep that in mind.
So here's the finished mod on this flashlight. So let me show you a difference before and after. So here is the Ryobi 18 volt flashlight with the original bulb that's inside. And let me show you the light bulb here. And give you an idea of the type of light output. I'll first shine it on the floor and I'll move it up to the inside of my garage. So here's a flashlight after it's been modded. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.